This is the family of the late Festus Kanangolo, one of Namibia's freedom fighters, a period that's in the country since 1966. Kanangolo, who died this year, was buried at the Mugulubumbashi grave site. South African soldiers were always on his back, and as a result, Kanangolo never stayed home at Oshilemba. When they failed to apprehend Kanangolo, they then shifted the focus on his wife, Evelina, now 96 years old. One of their youngest children, Topandula, was only two years old then. She, but too, was subjected to the trauma her mother went through. She and her little brother, Paulus, who was only five months old, accompanied their mother to witness the almost daily torture sessions, which went on for years. And pull it from your brain. <laughs> and all what the South African regime demanded was something very similar to this. Confess your crimes. Destroy our enemies. Be willing to die. At one time, they also made their mother Evelina to dig her own grave, threatened to kill her, but later changed their mind. The South African soldiers would pick up my whole family and take us to Okahao, where they tortured my mother. One day they picked us up again and locked us in the Casper, where we could hear our mother crying as she was being tortured. As they grew older and enough to be questioned, the soldiers were at their homestead day and night. They would often sleep in the field. One night as we were having dinner, we just saw a bright light and realized that it was them. And by then they had already entered our homestead. We all ran into different directions. They followed us, but they did not see us. It was during the month of May and it was very cold. We couldn't bear the cold, so we dug a hole where we slept the whole night. From their childhood, their mother told them that their father, Kanangolo, was dead, for them not to open their mouths about the truth. Kanangolo went into exile in 1974, and in 1989 his family was caught by a pleasant surprise at a SOP meeting which took place at Okahao. An announcement was made that there was a man by the name of Festus Kanangolo looking for his family. Topandula and her two brothers happened to be there. They got to meet their father after a 15-year absence and joyfully took him home. When our mother saw our father, she started singing this song. We celebrated that day and we did not even sleep.